So what we're trying to do here is basically take an AutoCAD file into Trimble Business Center and create a road file that we can then export to Trimble Access. So we will end up with just a Thrupney bit alignment because AutoCAD does not support um, a proper road geometry with horizontal and vertical curves. So the first thing that we're going to do here is to select um, centerline string. Um, so that it should be a polyline, a 3D polyline. If it's a series of straights, then we can connect them up automatically inside, uh, inside uh, Trimble Business Center. But you can see here, it's a 3D polyline. So we select that line. And what we want to do is basically convert it into an alignment. So we can just choose the, from the corridor command, create alignment. We can name it if we want. We don't need to name it. So I'll just call it road center line. I'm going to select that line that we've um, got selected on the screen. And then we can choose to delete it so that we actually delete the card entity and we just keep the actual alignment. And as you can see, we basically can review here in the horizontal alignment, and you can see that we're basically ending up with a Thrupney bit alignment. Um, and the same with the vertical, it's just a series of straights. So once we've got this alignment in place, then what we can do is create a road file or what we call a corridor. So we're just going to give this a name. So I'll call this forest road. And it's automatically going to suggest that we're picking up a horizontal and vertical alignment. And then we can basically add in all the strings, all the substrings here um, into the model. Or sorry, we're going to actually add them in so they're selectable in the templates. So I'm just selecting everything. There's a heap of the junk in this uh, file, lots of blocks, but you can see it's actually found 22 lines. And then what we need to do is start creating our templates. So we essentially just start at the front of the start of the road. And we say that's a template at chain of zero. And in the cross section view here, what we see is essentially any strings that were added as reference lines in the cross section. And we can basically just use um, a connect command to join these um, strings together to form our road surface. So we're just selecting it from element one to element two. And you can see that we're basically joining that up and then we can create a connect command from one to three and again we can just add that and we're basically adding that as a template so we can see that we can what we now need to do is basically move up the road until there's a change or a new string is added to the road and we can basically choose to copy the previous template at the new ch change of change eight, and we're just going to edit it. And all we need to do is add in this additional string that's introduced to change eight. So we can just choose to add an instruction. So we're just going to add that. In fact, so that's actually a mistake. I've edited it, so we'll just undo that. I should have added a new instruction here. So we're just going to choose add instruction and it's going to be from string two to string 17 and choose add. And you can see that that's added to the model. So we're always reviewing the DTM above because basically when we're adding these uh, strings into the template, I should see that the, the, the DTM is updating properly. So whenever I see a blank in the DTM, it's telling me that I need to add that string in to the template. So we just go up to the next uh, chainage. So we can see there as we get to these chainages, that's not in the model. That is in the model and it's dropped out there. So we just need to go to the start of that string and add it into the surface. So again, we're creating a new template we're going to choose where we start it. So we're just going to select the start of this string. Again, it's going to be a copy of the previous template, chain of eight. And again, all we're going to change is actually which string is going to be added into the, into the model. Now we could actually just connect these two strings together and then we wouldn't need to add the template, but I'm just showing you the long way of 
of doing it here. So it's changed its string two to fifteen, and we can say that see that that's added in, and we're basically just continuing continuing all the way up the road, adding in the strings as they change. So I'll just stop the video here until we basically get everything added in. So what we want to do now is review the model properly, so we can see we've got all these templates on the left hand side added to our road. And we want to review the model to make sure that the model's correct, correctly formed and there's no gaps or missing strings in the model. And then we can choose Home Export from the Corridor tab and we're going to choose Trimble Access Road Strings. We're going to go the entire um, length of the road from 0 to 282. I'm not going to worry about left and right side slopes. And we can just choose to export the CRD file, the general file. And I'm actually going to export it directly to my um, emulator um, file. So once we've got it in Trimble Access, then we can just review it and make sure it all looks OK. Just zooming in. Looks, looks OK. Probably the best way to review it is if we just go into the select the center line string. And then if we just hit review and then do the 3D drive, and we can just go through the road and just make sure that the strings are formed OK. And this looks all perfectly sensible. So this is how to take an AutoCAD file into Trimble Business Center, convert it to a road file and export it to Trimble Access.